welcome back to Fallout. Now then, we are in, we're still in the Lair of the Mechanist, and I think we might be meeting him or her soon. So we'll get to see what gender he or she is soon. You didn't miss much. All we did was stop that tank robot, and then we came through. Well, you'll see if you ever play the game yourself. Basically, you didn't miss anything. Sure, I'll take that. Game's a little... Yeah. Hope it doesn't crash again. Is that steam gonna hurt? No! Oh! Oh, fine, I'll listen. I ruined it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I ruined that. Ugh, I uh, carry stuff for hey. me. Take all my junk. Oh yeah, my mods. Sir? All right. Excuse me. Oh, they're like, ow, ow, you bastard! Ooh, hack you, hack you, hack you, hack you! Yeah! Now that works for me! Thank you. Ooh, you look interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, oh, cool, it's a workshop bench. Well, this explains how she made all this. Self diagnostic complete. I'm happy. Hi. Won't be falling apart on you anytime. Let me have this one. Okay. Uh, Hang on, I want him. <laughs> he will serve until he dies, and then I'll take whatever is useful on him. It's brilliant. <laughs> Who's winning? I'm impressed you killed him. Frig! Handy, but ow! A lucky tire ironed. That was not worth it. I need some rat away. Thanks. Oh, hi. How you doing? I'll hack into you. No, we don't. I was like, I thought there were two of you. Oh, that's a place where I can... Is this going to be a base at some point? I wouldn't want to go somewhere like here. You're real. Oh, you're not. Oh, come on. There's got to be robots in here. There isn't? Really? Oh, there's one. Wait a minute, I didn't hack you. There we go. I was about to say, I didn't hack you. Oh, hi. <laughs> Thank you, robots. No, don't drink the water. I seem perfectly fine even though I drank the water. Oh, I didn't drink the water. I'll just eat that.
This water looks gross. How much further do I have to go? Hello. Facilities. No, oh, I don't care. Ooh. Got it. All right, let's see what I can do here. Let's see what I can do with Barbara. That's already perfect. That's perfect. 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 I don't want the scopes anyway. I should be using you, shouldn't I? How about Karen? You know what? Barbara's good enough right now. Do I have... whoops. Do I have ammo for... oh, I got plenty. She's beautiful. I can tell you're a little concerned. Oh, this doesn't look comforting. Hi, Ada. Are you still my friend? Oh, good. Well, I just hacked it. But then again, I guess it could be like those animals where they eventually stop liking you and just attack. That's gonna slam right down on us like a trap. That's gonna squish me flat and you will be damaged. The perfect plan for the perfect mechanist. See, I would have done that. Then it would have been problem solved. Use this. Oh, jeez. This is ridiculous. Oh. My. Aww. Ada. Ada, Ida, whatever. Take my stuff. Why do I have a clipboard? Hmm. Scan this. How close are we? This is an interesting looking door. Oh, that's so cool. I want to see more of those doors. That was awesome. Research wing. Okay. I'm not interested in the history of this place. Uh huh? Oh. This is where she's getting the brains for her robo brains. From ghouls? That doesn't seem very smart. I mean, doesn't the radiation rot out their brain? What's up here? Okay. Not a whole lot. Well, there's that. Medical observation terminal. Alright, maybe this will tell her how she's making robot brains with these things. So. Okay. 
Convicted serial killing. Oh. So this has nothing to do with what she's doing. Okay. Well, P, she. For some reason, I have a feeling that it's going to be a girl. I don't really know why. Everyone keeps calling it a he, so the interesting plot twist would be that it's actually a girl. What? What the hell is that music for? Jeez, just scared the shit out of me. There's nothing here. Oh, this doesn't look nice. Okay. Okay. I probably have to go that way, don't I? I don't want to, though. I'll go this way. See, why can't I go this way? Good reason. Okay, I can't pick the lock to this. Hey, those are Robo-Brain bodies. I bet mean, if I can destroy them, I can get their parts. Great, why don't you fight them while... I'm contributing. Somewhat. <laughs> oh, I like that. Can you stop? Thanks. I need to get closer. Ow, 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 ow. If only doing that would waste their bullets, but I know they have an infinite amount. So you can go suck. It, it. Oh, I like that. Now you. Find anything useful. How are you talking? You're dead. Did we destroy you or were you already destroyed? Your brain's out of place. What item is too heavy to carry? What are you talking about? Okay, they probably incinerate the bodies of the feral ghouls in there, which is very smart. Because it's not probably not a wise idea to have those lying about. This place looks gross. Yeah, somehow fix this problem. Uh, oh, when did I get that? Probably from the Robo Brain. I wasn't paying attention. Yes. Security door. Open. I bet if we destroy you. Can we destroy you? Great. I bet if we destroy you. If we are destroying you. Oh, wait, there's a thingy right here. I should be using Karen, that's my weakest weapon. Whoa! Right, I made this into a sniper. Oh, 
Oh, I wasted all the bullets. Well, I'm annoyed. Thought I could get some really good parts from that. Okay. Use this. Do the thingy. This is getting ridiculous, Mechanist. So let's see if I'm right or if I'm wrong. This seems to be... Oh god, it's an arena. Is this an arena? That's a little hurtful. Look at you, that looks ridiculous. Mechanist, this needs to stop. The Commonwealth has suffered more than its fair share of injustices because of you. Now you'll face the full might of the Mechanist. My righteous robots will end your tyranny once and for all. Okay, it's a guy. No, uh, no woman could have made a could have made a costume that dorkish. Look how ridiculous that costume is. She looks like a super villain. A very, very ridiculous super villain. Shoot the junk bot. I'm having a feeling that because of the special conditions, I am unable to. Are you okay? Alright, let's repair you. I'm dying. But I don't care because I'm too- I'm, oh my fucking god. No, 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 no. Get the hell away from me. Get the hell away from me. Don't use anything with turrets. What turrets? Is there any save me protocols? Cyberneck, okay. I can at least kill you. Jeez, stop shooting me! For the love of God, stop shooting me! Oh, I gotta reload and everything. Ada! I can't do this on my own! I'm at full health and I can't... ...beat these assholes! I'm not at full health anymore. No, I don't want right away. I want Scorpion Steak. Everything is broken! <laughs> How am I supposed to do this? I'm out of ammo. Hmm. Here goes nothing! That did nothing. Forget your leg! We have to... I just took a venom syringe. How was I supposed to do that? Maybe I should try hacking some robots. Oh no, am I all the way at the end? I forgot to save. Not where I wanted to end it, but it's better than what I was expecting. You know what? I want to save this weapon for later. <laughs> let's see. Let's go back with Karen. Go through this way. 
Right, this. I hacked you, what the hell? Whatever, I'm contributing at least a little bit. The hell? Oh. Well, you're dead now. Great work. Yeah, there's a password right there. I don't care about the scrap anymore. Let's just let's just hurry. In fact, I gotta save too. Maybe I can say something to get him to stop attacking me. Hmm. Over here. All right, I'm gonna get Barbara out now. I forget. Is this the last door? it is. Okay, let's save. Sure. Oh. Let's get you guys ready, too. <laughs> okay. Hi. You may have infiltrated my sanctum and destroyed my robots, <laughs> but your brain of terror and scare my reign of terror? The Commonwealth has suffered more than it's been Oh, you're just gonna say the same thing. No one cares. Let's see if we can actually hack Ow. Did it work? Oh good, it worked. Goodness! <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't part of that. Oh! You're self-destructing them! Making them blow up whenever I use them to help me. What the heck? I hacked you! Oh, good. Ooh! What turrets? Oh, that turret. What? No, don't do that. Oh, fuck. And that is? Uh-huh. For every robot you destroy, ten more will come. Struggle all you want. There is nothing you can do to stop me. Nothing. Warning. Power generation capacity exceeded. Now 
Where'd you come from? No, really, where'd you come from? They automatically self destruct when you hack them. Very interesting technique. My retardus gave me power to get experience. I'm killing your. Oh my god, you look terrible. <laughs> Kill that bastard. Sounds cool. What dodging? Oh, for crying out loud. I was doing so good until that happened. <coughs> well, since I can't really use the rope, well, I guess I kind of can. Just get it over with. Move in my sanctum and destroy my robots by your reign of terror and seer. Why can't I say anything? Oh, there we go. We should talk. There seems to be some sort of misunderstanding here. Maybe we should talk about this. The Commonwealth has suffered. Now. Nope, not going near that. And that's why. Bring in the Hang on, before you bring in the turret, let me just eat in the middle of a fight. Okay, the turret comes through here. Let's take over, take over you right now. Oh, ho, ho. boom.
What are you shooting at? Go on. Well, thanks. You weren't there to help me fight the robots, but thank God you were there when I was shooting a spotlight. A jump bot. You appear at the worst possible times. You suck right now. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, Frank. No, 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 no. You're not killing me yet. Indeed. Oh god, it's you! Ada! Are you okay? Hey. <laughs> One of your scrap spots is damaged because of that. That's a bad idea. <laughs> she really is throwing everything at me. This is trash. Just stop, dude. I don't think I need to. Seem fine. It just disappeared. 
Did you see that? It disappeared. A legendary junk bot. Ooh, I wonder how hard this will be to kill. Okay, that hurt. That hurt. Okay, I didn't know I was gonna do that. Thanks. You weren't worth it. I need more right away. That's gonna open. Sorry. Hear me out. I'm not a villain. I just want you to hear me out. Face to face. To what end? So you can crush me as you crushed my allies? Besides, do you truly think I'd leave the safety of my command center? Good people listen. If you were making a grave mistake, you'd want to know the truth. Very well. I will hear you out, but only for the sake of the common. Mark, with me. Ida, just stand down, okay? Do not shoot her or him. I still think it's a him. That is a dorky, dorky, dorky outfit. Oh, that's how you come through. How you doing? Who are you? Don't you think it's time you ditched that mask? You are. You are right. It's a guy. Oh. I'm Isabel Cruz. The mechanist was just an easy way for me to help the Commonwealth. But all my technical knowledge and all of these resources and the, I still failed. Uh, does the Commonwealth have any hope against people like you? You're obviously confused. I'm only here to stop some dangerous robots from attacking the Commonwealth. They have taken innocent lives. My friends, they were simple traitors. All dead at the hands of your robots. I I'm not confused. That just can't be right. It's the, the robo robots brains. are programmed to protect. <clears throat> Their subroutines are clean. <laughs> Observe, evaluate, and react accordingly. The testing was thorough. I ran every scenario, all past. Except the robo brains. You messed up. I got the truth out of one of your robo brains. They think they're saving people by killing them. No, I, I don't believe you. They can't alter their programming. They're programmed to save people, not kill them. Uh, well, yes, but take a yeah, take a good look outside. Stop looking at the damn numbers and start taking a good hard look at the Commonwealth. If you saw them in action, you'd instantly see how wrong you are. I need to think. You have to believe. With the number of precautions I took, anyone would have concluded it's safe. The robots are killing. Oh, you really don't know. How can you not know what they're doing? You must have some way of watching them. My bots have never violated their protocol. Their data dumps only show the elimination of hostile encounters. Open your eyes. The 
Those robots are killing innocent people. Innocent people? No. I, I don't believe you. They can't alter their program. Think about it. There's probably a reason these robots weren't in mass production. The introduction of a human brain creates too many unknown variables. You can't claim to know them all. I took all the necessary precautions. These lives should never be taken. And the data. They were always reporting hostiles killed and, and lives... Oh, saved. No. It's... the logic. Oh, it's there. I can see it now. I was hoping it was the Robo-Brains, an issue with their memory wipes. But you're right. Their primary directive was flawed. Yeah. The Robo-Brains require memory wipes? Yes. The human brain has a way of rewiring itself. If not properly maintained, it can corrupt. Oh. Is that even ethical? Not only are you using human brains, but you're wiping them too? Why waste a resource that someone died for? Yes, it's a skewed outlook, but it gives that life meaning. Fair enough. Actually, over 200 years in preservation may have made them more susceptible to corruption. Yeah, that sounds logical. That sounds like a serious flaw. And a dangerous one at that. It is. But the process is thorough. They're wiped after each mission. They're... I found it's best not to let them recall what they think. Well, you know the truth now. Now you know the truth. Your robots are dangerous. They had to be stopped. The hero unknowingly became the villain. I want to help the Commonwealth. The robots are all I know. I found this place. Wait a minute, I she could help the Minutemen. do my part. I accept full responsibility. I can't take back what I've done, or even atone for it. But this doesn't have to end in violence. Agreed. Yeah, just stand down. I'm not here to kill you. Only to get you and your robots to stand down. Done. Consider it done. And you won't regret this. I promise. None of the common will go. Here, take this. It's the password to the mainframe. You can use it to shut down the security protocols. I just... I'd rather this place be in your hands now. Aw, thank you. Let's <coughs> keep talking. Use the password to shut down the security. After that, the base is yours. Whoa, hold on a second. This place gets to belong to me? This looks interesting. Okay. Okay. Well, let's talk to Isabel first. Isabel? Oh, wait. Did it say successfully? Okay. Excuse me. Hey, just one more thing. If you have a minute. Alright. What's up? Just a quick thing. I just wanted to say I'm really happy, thankful that you let me stick around here. And in order to show you that I'm done with the past, I want you to have this as a sort of promise, I guess. Is it the it's suit? The mechanist suit I made. Awesome! <laughs> I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that. Thank you. You're welcome. There's one more thing. A much bigger thing. There are still robots out there. Lots of them. Oh yeah. My communications are down, and I can't call them back. But I can tell you where they are, if you're interested. That would be great! Sure. Great. Let's see here. Yes, there's another one out there. Oh, it's not too much trouble. And what about you? Wait, wait, come back, come back, come back. Where are you going? 
quite a few impressive devices around here. Hey. What your return is a relief. I trust the outcome was what you wanted. What? You came with me. I shut her down. The whole facility is under my control. So the desired result has been accomplished. Did she reveal her motives and reasoning? Yeah. She truly wanted to help people. She didn't know what the Robo Brains were doing. To her, a life save was a life save. A biological wild card. The unknowns are vast. She had to know the risk she was taking by creating them. Many good people endured suffering and death because of the Mechanist. It's a shame a mind as brilliant as hers allowed such atrocities to be committed. Agreed. Was it a mistake? I think it was a mistake to let her live. It would be disrespectful of my friend's memory if I were to say yes. Though my personality programming harbors feelings of revenge, my friends taught me mercy. And mercy can have very powerful effects. Agreed. She had good intentions. She was simply misled. Even good intentions need checks and balances. Agreed. Still, I now know that the death of my friends has brought about a safer commonwealth. Had the mechanist's robots remained unchecked, I'm certain that damage would have been extensive. Halting, if not reversing, any progress that has been made here. With this knowledge, I am finally registering feelings of satisfaction and accomplishment. And I have you to thank for it. Ah. Hey. How may I be here, I'm gonna give you my junk. I don't have junk, New okay. Service. Yeah, I can walk now. Where is she? Wait, does this mean I can do this? Oh, yeah. Where did she go? No, really, where did she go? Is she okay? Seriously, where is she? She couldn't have gone far. Ah, wow, all those are gone. Seriously, where is she? And where's Sparks? Oh, they must have left through this way. I'll push that button later. Hmm. I should do something else. Oh. These rats won't affect me. You, that's a different story. Brads. Can I talk to you guys? No? Alright, so what do I do here exactly? Assembly line. Okay, not really sure what that was supposed to do. She must be in here somewhere. Hey, Sparks! Yep, yeah, you're Sparks. And there she is. Hi. I want to talk to you a little bit more. Isabel Cruz. In case I haven't said it enough. I... It's fine. We all make mistakes. Some just bigger than others. Right, but I'm just not used to making mistakes. I'm usually very precise about these things. It's just... I really did think I could make a difference. Yeah, you still can. Hey there. Thanks again for helping me try to make this right. Don't worry. I wish I could do more. I found the idea. This drawing. Mm -hmm. It was like... 
some sort of hero that someone had I took what I could and decided I wanted to bring that it was too late to save that character but becoming the mechanist was all this inspired by a drawing I know how it sounds but the only things I had besides robots were comic books nerd I used to dream about being a hero Everything just came through. At least you tried. It's more than most people do these days. True. But I think we'd both agree. I'd be better off if I never found this place. Oh, it's not that bad. Anyway. This was certainly a lot of fun. Oh, elevator. Going down. Oh. Man, she had a lot of stuff. A new one? No. Let's go up. Going up. So now I have a robot base. That's cool. Oh, I remember this. Well, it's finally over. It was completely insane, but it's finally over. Destroy the rogue robot. I'll do that in my own time. Oh yeah, Nuka World. I shouldn't do that one. Not yet. For now... I think I should get back to the main story. I'm sure everyone's wondering what's in the main story. Everyone's tempted to go watch someone else find the main story. So we'll do that next. In fact, I might have some extra time and head to Diamond City. I head back and dump all my stuff there. Look at you. You remind me of a military guy in Street Fighter. From America. I can't remember his name. But you look silly. Hello, Minutemen. Hey, General. How's it going? Why are you guys here? Heads up. Yes. Let's take all the junk. All of the junk. And all of the mods. Let's finish Jezebel. And we'll have her doing trade routes with the new base I have. Uh, was this one? Yep, I should rename that. Now the left arm. Why not? Oh, I need blacksmith. No, 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 not that. Sure, why not? Sure, 
Sure. Well, now you have a full body. Oh yeah, I should rename you, shouldn't I? Let's name you... Je... The... Bell. That's supposed to be a capital. The, the only thing that's supposed to be a capital is the J. Good. You know, let's have a talk with her now that we've... At least now I'll have time to work on my pie to the last digit calculation. No, you won't. I have you to do a supply line with... Shoot, I forget. Where was it? Quincy Ruins, police station... No, where was it? No. I'll figure it out later. Right now I got stuff to drop off. First let's get rid of the junk and now let's put in all the mods. And you! <laughs> oh, can I make a... Can I make a minigun? No, not yet. I want to give you a minigun. No? Hmm. Gear and adhesive. Wait a minute. Laser Gatling. Why isn't there any laser Gatling? Oh my goodness. I don't see any laser Gatling. That's weird. Oh well. I'm gonna name you Rusty and name the other one someone else. I'm gonna name you because why not? You're bucket now. A pleasure to see you. It was not a pleasure to see you. <laughs> Figure something out, I guess. Just go away. Haven't you done enough to torment me already? Haven't you already interfered enough? Go away. No. I expect you'll be leaving me behind. Typical. Just go away. Haven't you done enough to torment me already? Jeez. Heads up. Yes, sir. Peter. Please take your components, sir. Okay. Look alive. Let's take a look at what you've got. Actually, I'm gonna be taking everything that you have. Look alive. I'd be happy to help if I can. Did you require my assistance? Actually, you should go. Time for you to leave. I wouldn't recommend that. Why are you still following me? 
I just said go. I wonder what has happened then, Scott. Is what has fallen the common was typical, less expensive. I want Rusty to come with me. Rusty, make her go away. This unit is ready to serve. Then let's go. Time to hit the road. Understood. Yeah, I can walk again. Hey. Affirmative. Um, hey, got a sec? Command mode ready. I'd like to activate your personality subroutine. Error. Command unrecognized. <clears throat> oh. That was all. Understood. Maybe I have to change the maybe I have to change his name or voice. Do I want a female voice? Let's give you a male processed voice. Let's see what that does. I'd like to activate your personality subroutine. Acknowledged. Personality subroutine activated. Jeez, you sound terrible. Let's make you sound like a man. Well, you look like a woman. Let's give you a woman voice. It's just the shape of you. Hey. Oh, God, you sound like Ida. I can't do that. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? Just go assault Tron. Anyway, let's head to Diamond City. And maybe later I can make you that minigun I want to give you. That'll be fun. Okay, there's Diamond City. That's the closest place. You guys looked absolutely disgusting. Look at you. Look at you. And what's with your eyes? You don't have eyes. They're just white dots in your face. Look at you. And those teeth. You got two sets of teeth on you. I'm sure eating's not an issue for you. Ooh. Gross. Very, very gross. We're already being attacked. Get your toys out! Oh, they really get your toys out. Man, look at you go. Oh, we don't have time for them. Let's keep going, Rusty. As soon as we can find a way through this mess. Hello? Oh, who cares? Where are you? There you are. Ah, 
Ow. Damn. I hurt like hell. Oh, I can't walk. I got a broken arm and a broken leg. I am limping. Because an asshole blew himself up. Why did he blow himself up? What was here? Hey, Rusty. Be calm. Obey. Just do what I say. You're coming with me. Oh, good. I can walk now. I'm perfectly normal. I just need to walk that off. I'm done with you. I can't even get to the Diamond City. It was supposed to be like right there. Whatever, I'm gonna make it there somehow. Hi. Oh. Where? I see. Diamond City is that way. Okay, this way. Diamond City. You wanna make it obvious for me? What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here, crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <laughs> I'm sorry. But Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> you open this gate right now, Danny I live here. You can't just lock me out. Looks like you can. Hi. You. You want into Diamond City, right? Yeah. I just got here. But, yeah. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in? Or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supplies? What's wrong with your mouth? Jeez, alright. I'll make it personal. Minute. Yeah. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Yeah, I'm sure he'll. I'm, I'm sure he's fully tricked by a guy in a robot suit, and. Uh, Sounds good. Let's go. And a robot. Uh, that's an assault tron. City. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious rap What happens if I No, what happens if I do this? Probably horrible things. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrap for parts. Ooh, is that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? Do you support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Uh, support news. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Then you should get your Welcome eyes checked. You're the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Yeah, you're full of it. This hasn't been the friendliest welcome. He's got you there, McDonough. Guess not everyone gets won over by that shark smile. <laughs> Ooh! Now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Exterminate! I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son. My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait. Your son's missing? Yes. 
You hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow everything to come through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help. Who can help? Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. Of course. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay of in course. our city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates me? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> What did your paper say? Ooh, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Do you feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. I'm sure. I. You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Who tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again? All right. Again, you trusted to. <laughs> I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. Oh, sure it did. It happened so fast you forgot all about basic human decency. Did your mother ever teach you to be honest? I... Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the laws. Ah, uh, missing person. I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Who are you looking for? My son. My boy Sean's been kidnapped. He's just a baby. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. Uh -huh. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. You can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. When people panic. They're panicking now! I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. Okay. I can at least point you somewhere. Unofficial. When you get inside the city, go to the back around the market to an alleyway. A couple of bright neon signs. Okay. Valentine's Detective Agency. No one likes going there though, so buyer beware. Thanks for your help. Yeah, well, good luck. Stay out of trouble. That was easy. I haven't even gotten into the city yet. I think we'll leave that as it is now. Until the next episode. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Tomorrow we're going to go right into it. And I'll see you all in the next episode.